when you can decide to believe and then you speak, it happens. Now, the speaking doesn't make it happen. The speaking is like the starter pistol of a race. You can race without speaking, right? Or without the starter pistol, right? You can just, you can say, go, and it starts. But the speaking is like the starter pistol that starts it. So you, you believe, which is the main thing that counts, and then you give it the starting point of go or shooting the pistol. So the speaking is just simply the starting point. The speaking isn't the thing itself. Okay? Now, at any point, you can choose to believe. So at the point you choose to believe, it appears. Now, if you, let's say, let's, let's bring it down to practicality. You speak to a sickness, you speak to a demon. You tell it to go. The important thing is believing. You can tell it to go all day long. If you're not believing, it ain't going to go. But if you believe, it'll go whether you tell it to or not. If you believe, it has to go. The minute you believe this has to go, it has to go, whether you say it or not. Now, if you believe, you will probably say. The Bible says if you believe, you, you shall say, actually. So there is a point that you will speak. But the minute you speak, now, now get this. I should even go back further. The minute you believe whether it's a sickness or a demon, it goes. End of story. People say, but my experience, is, okay, wait, wait. How do you know what your experience is? Well, we told the thing to go, and it didn't go. Okay, how do you know it didn't go? Well, because they still manifest it. I'll say, so you judged it by sight. Okay, now you just left quantum physics and went back to Newtonian physics. You see? Because you're based on a cause and effect. You're seeing some manifestation still going on, so you're assuming because of that that it did not obey you. But the minute you believed, it left. But the minute you looked, you saw it again. Why? Because you expected to see something. If you don't expect to see, you won't look. Does that make sense? So, literally, devil, go, walk off. Why? Because if you wait for the devil to verify the truth of God's word, you'll be waiting a long time. You hear that? Now, you say, but what if you walk off and it's not gone? Okay, that is not possible. Now, I'm not saying it can't come back because Jesus said it could, right? He said he walked in the dry places, right? And he comes back. How long is that? Well, it depends if you're talking earth time or spiritual dimension. How many of y'all heard, uh, I think last Sunday, was it last Sunday? That's Sunday before last. Yeah, Sunday before last. Uh, we had Jody Hogan here, David Hogan's son. Anybody hear him when he spoke? Okay. Do you remember what he talked about, about the girl that died? Went to heaven? Right? And on earth, they prayed for her for nine hours for her to come back. When she came back, to her, it was 45 minutes. Remember that? Now, how could it be nine hours for the people praying, but 45 minutes for her. Why? Because people say, well, she was in the spirit. Well, generally we think of in the spirit or in the spirit realm as no time. Why would you think 45 minutes? But if a demon leaves, I'm not saying the girl was a demon, please see the, see the analogy here. But if a demon leaves, he walks in the dry places and comes back. That's a period of time. Right? So if a spirit leaves its body, the girl spirit left her body. She went somewhere. Where she was at, time passed slower than where the people were praying, where her body was at. You see that? So that so if you could judge time based on the amount of time that passed, you could tell how far away she was. So you'd have to say, how long is nine hours here? How long and then we go down the scale and by how many light years you go away, that's when it reaches forty five minutes, that's where she was. Does that make sense to you? Okay, I know. Anyway, 